Hello, welcome to the vlog. How are you all? Hey, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? You say hi everybody. My name is Eileen. I have cerebral palsy. I am non-verbal, but I have a lot to say. And I have a feeding tube, which mommy's putting medicines through. And I go to a special needs school and I have to take twice weekly lateral flow tests now because there's so much COVID around in the community that we're doing this to keep everybody safe and happy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah? <laughs> My name's Tova, this is Eileen. Before I go too far into this vlog, there are a couple of things that I want to say. The first thing is a huge thank you to Linda Allen. <laughs> Um, huge thank you to Linda for letting me use her footage in this video that is really it, it's been so helpful and I'm really grateful so thank you Linda Linda is a women's well-being specialist she's a Luton based massage therapist and uh, she does a lot of maternity and postpartum work manual lymphage drainage surgical recovery <laughs> all of that kind of stuff so I'm popping all of her details below her website, her social media, her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel, so go and check her out. Give her a bit of love, and if you do go and actually use, uh, you use her? <laughs> no, please don't use her. Please go and become her client. If you do go and become a client of hers through this video, then just to let her know that Tova sent you. Uh, that'd be great for both me and Linda. Thank you. The other thing, that I want to say is if you are new to this channel huge welcome here and please subscribe and hit the like button and <laughs> leave some comments and share my vlogs on your social media so it reaches more and more people thank you right we're gonna jump back 12 hours in time to this morning when I was getting Eileen ready for school is that silly enough Good morning. Good morning, bedhead girl. Look at this. <laughs> Spectacular bedhead. I really need to brush and plait your hair, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, beautiful. Hi. I love her morning mood. She's got the best smile in the world. Not that you can see. I see it. I get full, full benefit of this gorgeous smile this morning. I'm gonna do a lateral flow on Eileen before I do anything else now, because school has seen an upswing in COVID cases with the om, om, Omicron, Omicron, the evil transformer. Uh, and they have asked that we test twice weekly. Can I get into this thing? Oh my God. The hardest part of the test is opening the swab. I know, am I useless? Am I useless? Come on. She's really taking the piss out of me these days. It's funny. And also, I received a couple of videos with ideas for how to do the lateral flow and the PCR tests on children in a way that is less upsetting to them, less bothering them. So I'm going to try that technique now. This is a nostrils only, so both nostrils. I don't need to go into her throat. But actually, I have a video for the throat as well. So I'm going to share them with you because I think it's really useful. I know we're quite far into the pandemic and we've probably all done quite a lot of lateral flow tests on ourselves and on our children. But it's still, it's actually really quite useful to know these things. Hello, I'm Linda and welcome to Her Therapies. Today I want to talk to you about the COVID lateral flow test and how to help you get through the, the gagging point when you're taking one of these and you're swabbing your tonsils. Now, during lockdown, I've worked at a COVID testing site down at Lusey and I've seen hundreds of people in the booth. And there's so many people who have really strong gag reflexes. And it's really unpleasant for people to be able to put this down their throat and get a proper swab because each tonsil needs to be swabbed for at least five seconds each side in order to get a really good sample. So I'm going to teach you something today that might help. Now, I've done it with people at the centre and it's either reduced their gagging by about 75% or it's, 
where it's completely taken it off. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our swab. This is the swab end. So this is in my right hand, your left, and I'm going to swab my right tonsil. So what I'm going to do with my left hand is I'm going to cross my thumb over and I'm going to squeeze my fingers down over my thumb. What I'm doing is I'm activating an acupuncture point called pericardium eight. This point, among many other energetic and heat reducing properties, stops vomiting. Very useful. OK, so right hand, right tonsil, left hand. Put the thumb in and reduce it down and then in you go. OK, so then it's a brain balance thing in your left hand with your left tonsil, your right hand, cross it over and squeeze it down. OK, and there we have it. So the pericardium runs through the three gels, the upper, middle and lower gel, which is from the chest down to the lower abdominals. So that's why it's really good for stopping that sick point. So bear with me. I have another video coming up on how to stop that horrible tickle in the nose. OK, thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm from Her Therapies. And I've been working as a COVID tester at the sites. Um, and I've seen lots of people putting these swabs up their nose. Lovely. Um, so I'm looking for a few things to help. OK, so if you are an adult, what you can do is in one hand. So this is my right. I'm crossing it to my left nostril. I'm going to stick it up my left nostril and then I'm going to put my left finger on the on the stick and I'm going to roll it around four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy. OK, now, if you have a child you're doing this to, and I've seen this many times. Please don't put the whole of the swab up your child's nostril. It's extremely sensitive and can be extremely painful for them. If they're a tiddly tiny say under four and they've got a very small nose, you only need to put half of it in. OK, just half the swab. If they're a little bit older, say from four to, you know, ten, they can put three quarters in. OK, oftentimes they can do it themselves. Kids are pretty savvy. OK, so what I do with them, I get them to put their fingers on their noses. OK, so they just do that. And that's how and they open it slightly to let you swab. And then they are that soft, fleshy part can really control how they're actually feeling the swab going in up the nose. And they can control it and feel in control much more. And you're more likely to get a good result from that. And what I do say is if you've never tested in front of your child and it's the first time and your child is quite scared and there's lots of them about. Can I say, can you? Make it a fun and happy thing that you're doing it first and showing them what to do. You're not making faces. You're not grimacing. You're not um, saying how horrible it is. And, you know, you're just going to make them much more anxious. So it's really easy. Or if you've got a very, very tiddly tiny one and they can't do the finger one, you just put, put your fingers over. You don't slam your fingers into their nose because obviously under here, under the cotton part, the swab is plastic, so it will hurt if you squeeze too tightly. OK, so good luck. Test every two days. Test every twice a week. Test, test, test. OK, be safe and I'll see you soon. There she is in all her smiley glory. Are you going to swab? I'm going to swab your nostrils. First that one, then that one. Are you prepared? Are you ready? I'm going to do flow test. Come on, head up, 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 up. Give me this nostril. There we are, good girl. Good girl. Well done. Oh, you're so brave and clever. Other nostril now, okay?
I hope you were able to see what I did there. Basically, I pinched, well pinched, but I, I pressed her, the side of her nose in as I was doing the swab and it, it, she definitely reacts to it less doing it that way, so that was really useful. And I thought Elin was going to have more lateral flow tests now because they, um, if school is asking them to test twice a week and saying that they're going to send home tests, I'm like, okay, good, but where, where are the tests? Where are the tests? So this is her um, school communication book and I'm just going to write in there, what day is it today? It's the 18th. Okay, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm basically setting myself up for failure here. I have written, was Ely meant to have twice weekly LTFs? No box has been sent home and I only have one left in the old box. This morning's test was negative. I haven't actually done, finished her test yet. But um, I figured obviously if it's positive, I'm not gonna send her into school, right? In which case that message doesn't matter. There we are. Right. And now we wait, madam. Now we wait. Okay? Do you want your music back on? Computer. Play songs by Melissa Horn. Shuffling songs by Melissa Horn on Amazon Music. Thank you. Once again, a huge thank you to Linda from Heart Therapies and Acupuncture, Women's Wellness Practitioner. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Frog in my throat. <coughs> Don't vlog tired. Is that the rule, Ellen? It should be a rule. I am pleased to say that Ellen's lateral flow test this morning was negative, as I wrote in her school book before I even did the test, but yes, it definitely was negative, so that's good. But um, just to give you an idea of how important it is for us to do these now, Eileen's class, along with five other classes in school, so six whole classes in school, are closed tomorrow due to COVID-related staff absences. Six classes. I mean, they're not big classes, but it's just six classes. That's crazy. And obviously, if she catches COVID, I want to know very early on. But so far, touch wood. Yeah. So we're going to keep going with the lateral flow tests. Obviously, we've been doing lateral flow tests regularly throughout the whole pandemic. Well, not the whole pandemic, but since we could get the lateral flow tests. Even Alice has now settled into wanting to do the lateral flow tests. They don't freak her out anymore. And she wants to keep her friends and her sister safe. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. And you know what else we're doing? Bedtime. We are doing bedtime. You wanna go sleepies? Oh, oh, oh sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, did I make you jump? I didn't mean to. Oh. Do you wanna go to sleep? Don't be silly, mommy. Okay, I'm gonna make you go to sleep. Mm. It's definitely bedtime. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you again very soon and have a beautiful day. Good night.